So, uh, I went out to Las Vegas, and, uh, I was, uh, out there on my road trip back. Uh, this was, uh, one of my stops, and when I first entered the city itself earlier in the day, uh, I didn't really stop to look at anything. I just drove down Las Vegas Boulevard, but, uh, right when you get there, as you enter the city, the big, huge, like, welcome to Vegas, there's a memorial sitting there, and there were a whole bunch of people recognizing that, and then not even a block after that, there was, uh, the hotel where the suspect shot all those people, and literally the concert hall is, like, right across the street from it. Uh, I walked about 10 miles around Las Vegas Boulevard, went in and, went in and out of casinos, um, but the uh, hotel itself, the glass is still broken up there. You can literally see into the room. You can see the lights in the room. And literally right across the street is the concert hall that the guy, you know, did his deed. And there were cops everywhere. And they were watching the scene and blocking traffic and all of that. There were news crews earlier in the day. They were everywhere. But uh, one scene, uh, one thing that caught my eye while I was there was there was this group of people. They were sitting in the median uh, right across from the entrance to the actual concert. Uh, they set up a memorial right there. And as I was walking by, um, there were some people walking on the side of the road and they were like, wow, are those people stupid? They're standing out in the middle of the road, just standing there. And I kind of thought to myself, I was like, okay, if you had somebody in that whole entire series of events and you wanted to remember them, you could possibly have somebody that's in one of the local hospitals. You'd stand out in the middle of the street for them too. And it really took me aback how many people weren't paying attention to it versus how many people were. I mean, it only happened two days ago, so... And it really legitimately pissed me off because I was hearing what these people were saying on the side of the road versus, you know, what was going on in there. In the median, those people were actually, like, praying and all that. And you could tell that some of them had victims that were involved in it. And I was like, wow, you're really going to call those people stupid? They have people that are literally laying in a hospital after a psychopath tried to kill them with a fully automatic weapon in the middle of a crowd. And if there was something to remember somebody by, like, with something that happened like that, there's no way I would even call any of them stupid. Even if they are standing in the middle of the road, that's worth something. It just, ugh, it just pissed me off. It made me mad when I was hearing these 100 or so people on the curb like, wow, those people are dumb. They're sitting in traffic. They're not sitting in traffic. They're standing in a median, you know, saying prayers for loved ones because they got shot two days ago. The priorities of people are so messed up that, like, I was walking in the MGM Okay, and stupid planes. And the MGM is not like a cheap place to stay. It, it isn't. And uh, just like listening to some of the people talking about it in there. Oh my God, were you involved in that two days ago? It must have been so scary for you. I mean, obviously it's scary. You guys are, like, saying it like it's freaking story time around a campfire. Come on. That's not... You don't talk about it like that. That's just stupid. It's an incident that happened that had almost 400 and... Or clo damn near over, what, 550 victims? That's not just, like, a story time moment. I mean, Jesus, just listening to all those uppity people just gambling away their money and talking about it like it was a slideshow, like it was a movie or something, Just it just disappointed the hell out of me. And by the way, Las Vegas, you guys here are weird. 
I have never seen a city so busy with the shit that doesn't matter ever in my life. Like, I had two people at New York, New York. I was walking in their casino before I hit the Bellagio, and people, like, were coming up to me because I'm, I'm wearing my, you know, crazy-looking teddy bear Indian shirt, you know, that I've been wearing since around 9 o'clock this morning. And they were like, wow, you, he's just... They're, they were basically giving me that look like I was underdressed. I'm like, guys, it's New York, New York. Uh, I'm not walking into, like, the freaking VIP room in the Bellagio here. Just some of the dirty looks that I got because... Uh, because I was walking around just looking... I wasn't spending any money. I was just walking around looking, and they were, like, treating me like a weirdo because I wasn't spending money. It's retarded. The MGM, dude, I am never going to stay there, ever. Those people, mm, mm-mm. Caliber of human being that you had to be to stay in a place like that, that'll never be me. Never in a million years. Um, anyway, guys, thank you guys for paying attention to my vlogs. Uh, tomorrow is going to be the post from Las Vegas to Los Angeles. It's three hours worth of driving. There's nothing that's going to happen. I'm pretty much going to tell you guys that I'm leaving, put a segment in there, and then you guys will see me on a beach <laughs> somewhere. So, uh, I mean, I can't believe that this journey is already over. I'm actually kind of depressed that it's over. Kind of, it kind of saddens me a little bit. <laughs> I've never done anything like this. I've never taken a like a cross country road trip before. I think the furthest that I've ever gone on a road trip was from Pennsylvania to Colorado, and I did that with my buddies back in the day when we got back from Kandahar. Yeah, that's the last time I did anything like hardcore traveling like that um, the rest of it I've just traveled in planes so uh, it was boring in Kansas and Missouri but outside of that I mean it's actually a pretty halfway decent drive Utah is actually not what most people think it is it's not really that boring uh, it's actually a pretty interesting drive with uh, you know the ups the downs the curves the going through cliff faces and all that it's it's actually pretty dope so uh yeah thank you guys for watching thank you for paying attention if you guys are new and this vlog interests you and i get a crap ton of likes or a crap ton of views on it uh share it around please this is meant to be kind of like a an emotional piece for me on my channel it just really irritated the hell out of me that those people were getting insulted for remembering loved ones that got messed up in that brutal attack like that. I wish I would have caught them because I like had my... If you look on the video, it's literally they were saying that right before I started filming. And then they all shut up because I pulled out my phone. It's, fucking, it's just terrible how people treat other people. They have loved ones in a hospital, and your biggest worry is if they're going to get hit by a car. I mean, that is important, but calling them stupid for it, that's just not right. That's fucked up. That's messed up on so many levels. And you guys wonder why I'm not in protective services and I don't want to be a cop. Because, frankly, this country as a whole is not worth laying your life on the line for anymore. The people aren't. Just saying. Anyway, guys, thank you. Peace. Bye. Sayonara. Thank you for being with me on this journey, guys. And I will definitely see you later.